Welcome. This plant is called a voodoo lily. Its scientific name is Arum cornutum, but according to the internet, Arum cornutum is not a valid name anymore, that this plant underwent a change of name, and right now Sauromatum venosum is the name that this plant should be called. However, I am used to the name Arum cornutum. Plants do change names sometimes, and according to different sources, they can change their names in a different way, but the plant stays the same. Just because someone decided that it should be called differently doesn't mean that the plant is different. So, Arum cornutum it is according to me. However, the name Sauromatum venosum reflects the fact that the plant is poisonous. Venosum comes from venom. And this plant, yes, it is poisonous. And this is why most probably it's called a voodoo a plant, voodoo lily. And we can only guess how it might be used in order to earn this name. I showed you this plant already in May. And at that time it looked completely differently. In May there were only five flowers sticking out of the soil and the remains of the flowers are here. The dry parts, the dry uh, parts of the plant are remains of the flowers. There were five of them. They were quite large. They were brown in color and even though I couldn't smell it, they were releasing a smell of something that was attracting flies. So probably the combination of garbage bin and rotting meat and poop and something equally exciting for the flies. Because it's flies that are pollinating uh, these flowers. And uh, there were quite a lot of flies flying around this plant when it was in bloom. And then the flowers faded and after that these leaves appeared quite late in the year actually because we are in the beginning of July and the leaves only started growing in mid-June. So it was quite late in the year but the leaves are, are large already, fully developed. The biggest leaves here are the leaves that come from the same bulb that the flowers were that the flowers were present before and the smaller leaves are from the bulbs that didn't produce flowers and they will be growing this year and who knows maybe next year or the year after that they will be big enough to produce flowers i will remove some of those smaller bulbs and smaller with smaller leaves i will plant them in a separate pot just to make more room for the bigger bulbs to grow nicer and also to propagate the plant to split it and to have another specimen when this plant is growing right now during the growth season uh, it requires quite a lot of water i water it quite abundantly look how much foliage there is here so these leaves require quite a lot of water to grow healthy. I will be watering this plant quite a lot until the end of the growth season, until the temperatures outside allow me to keep this plant outside, until the days are long enough for the leaves to be green and to be nice. At one point, somewhere around mid-October, this plant will start turning yellow, the leaves will start to dry out, and then I will remove them and I will put the plant in the basement in a cold room and the plant will go into dormancy. The roots and the bulbs in the pot will be preparing to produce new flowers in the spring. And when spring comes, when the temperatures start getting a little bit warmer, the flowers will start poking through the soil and then I will take the plant, if not outside, if it's too cold to put it outside, I will take it upstairs and the flowers will develop. And then when the outside temperature is 
plant friend is house plant friendly i will take this plant outside and the cycle will start all over again this is one of the plants that are more interesting than pretty although the leaves are quite attractive look at the stems how beautiful they are they are spotted like like boa snakes and the flowers when they bloom they are quite pretty too but their beauty is not orchid like is not daisy like certainly they are not flowers that could be put in a vase and put on the table for decoration. They are beautilized in the fact that they are just one of a kind, that they are very unique and like, unlike anything else. But this unusual growth pattern and these unusual flowers of Arum Cornutum or Voodoo Lily are the reason why I like this plant so much. And I hope you like it too. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a great afternoon.